and welcome to Dominion Attack. Um, I am Clomac Attack. And I'm Tetron. And today we are going to be using the card Encampment. I'm going to first of all share my screen so we can check out what that card does. And here it is. I'm going to click ready. And I'm going to turn on this. And that should now be sharing my screen. Yes. Excellent, excellent. So we can see encampment. All right. So I've I've put as usual. I've put the rest of it all from the base deck, and then this one here, uh, this two cost card, is encampment. And so there are people setting up a campsite. They've got their tents. They've also got spears um, and shields, which you wouldn't normally need in a campsite um but uh what you can do it's quite a nice card actually two cards and two actions very good for a two cost um the only catch is you may reveal a gold or a plunder from your hand if you do not set the card aside and return it to the supply at the start of cleanup so it'll go away again unless you show a gold or a plunder this is a plunder so a plunder is like a silver that every time you play it gets you also a victory point and i'm just going to make that picture big in there you've got what is it a barrel and um some cloths i can't quite see what they've got in there well, it's like a treasure chest i think and, yes. a statue, oh, and there is a barrel and things yes yeah so they're but they're pretty good they're pretty good um so yes so this is this is them uh okay let's let's just start Okay, oh, a 5-2 start. But, um, oh, I've got 5-2 starts as well. I was all figured out what I was going to do with my 4-3 as well. Mm. <laughs> um, so plunder is actually better than a laboratory if you um, if you can make sure you can show the gold or the plunder so it doesn't run away. I need to start with a market and a... Yeah. the buy... I mean, that's one of the rules that I kind of have that you always will eventually want to buy if there is one. But it's better to get it earlier than when suddenly realizing you're up to 14. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay the market, I think you can get a market pretty much anytime, but I know what you mean. Well, some... I know with your fives, you seem to have no problems getting them, but my past experience, <laughs> the card I really wanted early from a 4 3 was going to be Money Lender, which would have been good for getting your encampment with a gold. Yeah. But, um, now, the question is, do I get this encampment or do I get a moat? You can always get that estate. <laughs> no, I'm going to get the encampment. It might be it goes away again, but um, okay. that's one of those things. Yeah, my mate's drawn my market. <laughs> so that was a good thing. But I, I needed the four anyway, so yeah, that's yeah. not too bad. For money lender. So encampment. Laboratory. Now, of course, my encampment did go away. Obviously, it did. Um, I'll go to gold. So I'm going to go silver, which is kind of what my 4-3 start would look like anyway. Yeah. Ah, three. I suppose I am two. Oh, no. Why don't I get the encampment? Let's, let's, uh, ah, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's all not going to work. I'm going to get two encampments. Oh, very good. Um, I will get a gold. Well, my money lender's giving me my six for the gold. Now I have to copy you and get the market <laughs> to get this buy. Do I play a moat to try and get this three up to something more useful? I guess I probably do. Just didn't really have them anyway. Third encampment. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. Five. Yeah. Now, I want this money lender. I want another market and a laboratory. And another encampment. I will take the money lender. Okay. 
I'm not. I mean, temptation is to get a gold. My next hand's not going to be very good um, because my gold came in this one, but I think I get province. Yeah. Oh, actually, my gold's come up again. It'll always do what you're least expecting. We'll get another market. So I can play my encampment and reveal this gold so it doesn't go away. So 10, I guess I could get an encampment and a plunder. Yeah. But that lets you get some plunders pref potentially. Yeah. It's reasonably likely I'll manage to get some plunders at some point, I would say. Hmm. But I'm going to do it anyway. Why not? My hope is you can only buy one this turn. Let's see. I mean, I could have returned an encampment, which would have been the other way of doing it. But um... eight. Yeah, I can only get one. Let's get that one. And I don't really want a moat, so maybe I will get a silver. I don't really want silver either, to be honest. But well, I've returned my encampment. I'm not oh, the that's second a, one. a defensive. It was one. well, it wasn't in a plan A. I would have returned it last time if I was doing it defensively properly. Um, it was just where my hand was. I was either going to draw junk, which is what I've done, mm. or um, well, maybe I should just um, just keep up with you on the provinces i probably should they don't like you getting miles ahead i'm not miles ahead not with gardens um your extra market but it's um anyway you'll see that i got an extra one vp shield there for um, having played that plunder which has just now happened to you you did what i was just saying from playing the plunder you get the one vp in the shield tokens i was pointing out to oh you, yes I see you mean. Name. this this score here yeah okay well i think i'll get an encampment and a plunder i guess let's try that encampment i can reveal a plunder encampment i can reveal a plunder encampment i can reveal a plunder <laughs> Yeah, if I'd known that I was going to um, <laughs> shuffle a nine, I would have returned one of them probably. But it's um, I mean, four still aren't great because his poach is not up to much. I guess a smithy is probably, or throne room maybe. What's better? Mm. I guess probably the draw. Right, tricky here. No, that's fine now. Uh, so you were without a gold or plunder, I take I it, and the market that. gave it. Yeah, so that was fine. So I guess I'll take that one. And then do I want a moat? Not amazingly, but I... I could go get a bureaucrat, you know it. <laughs> you know it makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so my smithy has been played, but it hasn't really changed a great deal. Um, I guess province and a moat. Yeah, it's not easy to know with kind of gardens there. Obviously, mm. the plumbers mean the longer you go, the more points they come worth. I guess I'm going for the laboratory and hoping. I don't leave it too late. I fear I might leave it too late. Uh, so I do still have a copper. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Mm, what should the four be?
See, like another boy can't get one, I guess. Throne room or silver? I guess throne room. Eleven. Mm. I might have to get two duchies already. Let's do it. Let's see what card my market gives me. It's giving me an encampment, so that's okay because I've got the gold already. Play smithy, and now my hand's going to fire again. So I've been a little bit lucky not to miss. I mean, my throne room sitting here, which is a sort of miss, but getting to promise not from. I will get an extra copper just to potentially feed my money lender if I need it. Hmm. But <coughs> excuse me. Um. Yeah, right. Well, I can't really get a province, I think. So, it's a duchy. Oh, you only have one buy. Okay. Yeah, I only had one buy. Maybe I should. I was just so busy, look, busy looking at the coins. Um, yeah. I mean, it's possible I may miss a province here. I'm only looking at four coins, but um, indeed I have. Well, then I should have got a province. But I didn't well, know. I, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty risky even look. At, if you saw my start hand, I think, <laughs> still think you would have been reluctant to buy a province. Yeah. It's... Especially as I got the extra copper now. It's um. Yeah. Okay. Duchy. Gardens. There we go. If you completely miss, which you won't. I'll risk returning an encampment and I've drawn as gold, so that was oh, just pay. Uh, but I've only got seven still. Um, my throne room buys, I'll show you, it seems not to pay off. That should have been a silver, clearly, <laughs> from having turned up twice and not worked twice. Um, well, I've got to keep on the pressure, although I think the longer games, I think I had three, did I have three plunders to your two, or is it two to three? I can't remember. I think um, I'm, maybe I'm ahead on the plunders, but you were ahead on the encampments. You're definitely ahead on the encampments. I wasn't you? ahead on the encampments, but I've returned one. Oh, no, I didn't return one. I drew it. Yeah, yeah of course I didn't. Um, so it may end up turning into a gardens game after all, but actually we've got two piles looking like emptying. Yeah. So perhaps it's not. Okay, well, I will get a province then. Don't know why this should be any better than the other time. But... Well, my hand actually is not as good as the other time. I've got two plunders in hand. I'm trying to work oh, out with it. Pretty good. But I also only, then only have a smithy with it. Um, I don't think I attempt drawing on this one. I think I just go get a gardens with the yeah. two VPs to try and secure a lead a bit. Well, that looks like my smithy would have worked quite well. It would have been drawing junk, but only having one market is a little bit curious in these kind of battles. Seven. Yeah. Um. Gardens. And... Right. Well, again, I'm having to blind play in the camp and hope I draw something. I've only drawn a silver, which wasn't what I was hoping for at all, because I had a money lender in hand as well. Um, Our decks have got worse. <laughs> I don't know. If I get an estate here, is this the right timing or not? Probably copper, actually. Oh. See, because yours go up. I definitely have to buy something because of the things. I think I actually get a copper. Yeah. Well, I only have four, so I'm getting a gardens. All right. If you don't get a province, I've got some kind of chance. 
Well, I'm getting at least something here, and it's oh, like okay. I've, I've got a market and I've got a oh, smithy okay. to draw with this. Oh, anyway. no. um, so I've got guaranteed six coins, and I can throw in room and moat, but I think that's probably going to not draw me what I need, but I'm going to do it anyway in the hopes that it draws me silver. Oh, it's drawn me a plunder, so yeah. Oh, well that's done. It. So M buys good game. Yeah, good game. Okay, so that was sort of interesting. So I did. So you did have the extra plunder as you thought. Yeah, yeah. I thought that's probably the case, but um, I just wasn't quite sure with my memory. <laughs> you were right. I think you were right though to get the market before the laboratory. I was thinking I wanted to draw through my deck, and so I got the laboratory first. But then you used the market to buy two encampments, which I think worked. Yeah, well, encampments, a bit like a laboratory. If you ignore the fact it returns, it gives the same draw as a laboratory, but it gives an extra action. And the worst case scenario is it returns. Um, yeah, I think the encampments are very, very good. Yeah, so I think that. money lender also. You also got your money lender faster. early, which was, was probably a good idea. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really show from the final position, but I, I got through my coppers much quicker. I bought the three coppers were after buys. Um, I got through my original seven quite quickly. Yeah, because um, what I was doing was getting a gold to try and make an encampment work. Yeah, uh, I think... I think it, it, yeah, but probably... It's good to get the gold. It was just you got your second gold, and then, yeah, you didn't have the buy when you had this eight. So, yeah, I think... That yeah, I think it probably was. As I say, I think it is a very useful rule to have if you're in doubt. Get an early buy, if it's the only. Yeah. If you're going to buy it eventually, so to speak, it gives you more options later on. Anyway, um, we can move on to more. Interesting. Things. Okay, I'm going to put in. But we definitely got to see how it works, and um, you were starting to slowly come back. I think because of the extra. Plan. I was. If the game had been able to go on a long time, I think it would have been fine. But I never kind of really thought. I would make it last long enough that it, I would catch up. No, I mean, it was unlikely. I mean, even if I have to return all my plan, all my um, so encampments to do it, I would have still hit at one point. Once my money lender hit again a copper, I would have been okay. So another nice two there, which is crossroads we featured before. Yeah. And lots of victory cards to go with it. We do have a lot of victory cards in this deck. Herald's not quite so useful with encampment, I suspect, but... Um, you mean the risk that it will, you have to return it without meaning to? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, now I'm just trying to make some sense of this. What, what, how do we trash here? We do, What does Feardom do? I've never really played with Feardom. You need lots of silvers. Um, I'm not an expert with Feardom, but it's not a Feardom... There's some Feardom power cards which aren't there. Things yeah. like a master, masterpiece, yeah. which is a, yeah, and masterpiece, yeah, and um, groom, both very powerful with freedom, but um, yeah, so let's so I can ignore that one, um, yeah, but we don't trash with this, um, no, and there's no easy buy to get, so what the difficult buy is with city after two piles are empty, yeah, um, yeah, okay. So, yes. I do is much nicer than the 4 3 on this one, but I don't, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I think with my 4 3, yeah. which I haven't seen yet, but once you click start, I anticipate yeah. this time will be 4 3. Yeah, I'm 4 3. Uh, right, it's me. So, and this fortune teller. It's pretty strong. You ignore it a, a bit, but I mean, Lord Rassington plays it a fair bit and it can mess you up quite a lot. Um, yeah. I don't. Feel Not like so I much with Harman, but, um, but all right, let's let's. I'll copy Lord Rattington. Well, it obviously depends on whether you run out of actions. I'm going to go for a patient silver, with there being no trashing. Um, your <laughs> preponderance for attack cards. <laughs> <laughs> means that I feel like it's not if I ignore it, you're not going to ignore the familiar for long. Yeah, I mean, actually, yeah, there's a lot of cards I want. I'm going to get duplicate. I 
think I should have got silver. I got talked into getting fortune teller there. Um, okay. And I think I will get a city just for those actions. I mean, actually, a city doesn't do any more than in... Well, the encampment gets two cards. The encampment's pretty strong. Um, yeah. So if I do a duplicate, and then let's try this encampment and actually call a duplicate of it. Um, Tetron, if you're talking, I can't actually hear you. Um, that'll get him worried. That'll distract him for a bit. Then I'll do all sorts of good plays while he's not knowing what I'm doing. Um, all right. So he's got three. I wonder if he will actually buy the fortune teller. What does the fortune teller actually do? He took the player, reveals cards from top of the deck until they reveal I was the talking. <laughs> um, I think the with the thing. Anyway, I'm going to get crossroads. It's fine. What I was saying is your fortune teller successfully got rid of my potion earlier, so it did slow me okay. down quite a bit. That's um, that was that was the plan. Uh, fortune teller, and perhaps now I do have time to get this potion. Let's do it. Now these I, are not going to hang around for very long, unfortunately. Yeah, why is a fortune teller for me as well? I don't need to play them. I could just, I could just kind of. You know, just store some up. Well, that's what I kind of try to do often, but it's. Um... Yeah, it's. I know there's issues with it. Duplicate. But crossroads, in a way, is a stronger one to some extent with the um, harem than the encampment is with the gold. Yeah. But... I was going to get another encampment. I'm going to do it, but then that you're going to just end up with all the plunders. This this is a bit experimental. This go. Oh, it's very experimental. I could have got harring, but I got plunder. Uh, harring works, as I say, is a better defense against fortune teller. But the question is whether the city gets its second buy or not. <laughs> I think the plunder pile will empty. I'm just not sure what the next pile to yeah. empty will be. Oh no, this is hopeless. Ah, I'm not doing this well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, let's. Uh, Herald or Ireland? I'm tempted by an island actually. I'm going to get another crossroads. Yeah. All right. This is all working less. Where's that curse come from? Are familiar? Yeah. Did you say we like have I... trashing? We don't have trashing, do no, we? No, if we had trashing, I'd be playing whatever the trasher was because I got up to six by now. <laughs> well, I suppose actually there's one there's one card which costs seven. So, I, yeah, but there's no trashing. It's just um, islands as good as you get. Let's get this familiar then. No, so you got to keep your potion, so mate. <laughs> Fortune teller was less than yours. No, it's still one. no, no. I was just thinking. <laughs> oh, actually, the curse pile's going to empty, isn't it? So it's going to. Did be... I get I don't have a no. So you must have returned multiple encampments. I guess an island. Actually, island may not be such a good move. 
Where is that? Well, it's what it's what with crossroads. It's um City? City can't be any good though. Herald, maybe. City. Whilst it doesn't do a lot, I'm going to get a third familiar. Oh my god, that's a lot of familiars. Well, I just want to ensure that I don't end up on the <laughs> downside of these <laughs> curses. Hmm. Guess I still go another crossroads. I don't really want to the encampment pile to empty necessarily with the current situation. Sorry, what? I no. don't really want the encampment pile to empty, particularly in the current game situation. Um, Why is that? Well, because of the city situation, I probably at the moment marginally better off if there's no second buy. Yeah, I see. All right. But obviously if it obviously if you explode plunders, I'm gonna to want to be buying them, but yeah. Well I kinda of am doing this thing, but it might not be good. Okay, I'm actually one short, so that's not ideal. I kinda of want victory cards, I guess try this duplicate. Yeah, duplicates. I think it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, my earlier island probably wasn't a great move. Because I don't have much money. <laughs> I don't think either of us had that much money. <laughs> I'm going to just having to return everything, and I might not even make it still. I don't. I don't even make it. This is a disaster. Well, your good news to let you off on that thing, if you still miss, is that I've only got four coins. I have two crossroads, but no victory card. Well, I've, I've given up three encampments, yeah. Encampments, so they'll go on the top. But, um, yeah. Well, the thing is, it's Fortune Teller. I, I, I kind of said it's a deceptively strong attack. Yes, I ignored you, obviously. That was a mistake to not ignore you at that point the problem with this deck with the fortune teller encampment is there's a crossroads encampment fortune teller hiring gold <laughs> kind of conflict of interests yeah you can't, get, you can't really get everything let's see now my post is still messing me around i guess more islands i'm not sure whether i want to remove the islands or not with all these crossroads but Girls is going to give you quite a strong position. Yeah, but I've got 200 curses. I'm going to actually stick a couple of my other match, which isn't a good sign, but I'm going to get another silver because clearly I don't have enough money. Do I use this duplicate with the silver? I don't think I do. I think I still have a fair chance of getting to a five without it. <laughs> of course, I doubt be seeing all along. When you get a curse, the duplicate asks you if you want another curse. I still thought I'd be yeah. more ahead with the with giving you curses with the timing of you getting the potion late. 
and me having three familiars. But I think this fortune right, teller is really random. Six, haven't you? I've got. You've only got about well, two. Well, I have six. I think I have. I think I have three to now six. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't got a full count to be perfectly honest. But I. Ooh. So I'm still short of money. Could go for a fortune teller. But I'm going to go for this other city just in case in the long game. Hmm. Yeah, I must give me a few actually. I see your negative victory points. So. Um... <laughs> oh, doing very well. <laughs> I was thinking it was, I think it's closing up quite quickly, um, but it's not really. This is surprisingly slow game, I guess. Uh, maybe this fortune teller and familiar, but so I'm going to try getting another silver and still not using my du duplicate. But I'm surprised what I've happened to set aside with this element. City or gold? All right, gold. Oh, you had an opportunity for gold. Well, gold's probably better. I mean, yeah, you're well ahead on the money issue. Um, it's the curses that are my problem. I guess an island. Yeah. Oh, look, I've got two for me now. All the curses are gone. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got three to your two, but yeah, it's like... For the number of turns I, I was going for it, I think whilst your encampments obviously sped you up a bit, it's I just need to see whether these five victory points from the encampment were sufficient. Five. So you still don't, I, I got to 1.6 pretty early on, which I had to use for this plunder. <laughs> and it's still <laughs> seeming like perhaps it didn't pay off. Because I got this duplicate sitting here and I just don't want to use it ever for this silver. Right. What? Island Herald duplicate are all possible. Um, duplicate. Yeah, another four. She had to begin with. Island, yeah. Well, my islands, because of the crossroads, is really why I'm going for those. Yeah. And I've been buying but quite also, a few silvers. Also, the piles are running low as well. Another five. See, and now your cities are worth more, but... Yeah. My, my duplicate has just been sitting on my map forever, <laughs> as I may be to either get a plunder or a gold. But um... the trouble is, if I do what what I want to do, which is to take the encampment and two plunders, then you basically win almost instantly, and probably ditto if I take the. Uh cities but then i have to do something or else um... you get three crossroads that one's nice <laughs> yeah. nice one for me all right so i'm just going to get a province and a city and the city yeah that's it's not good but it's what probably what i should do okay. do I, I guess i use my duplicate with a city now Oh um, yeah. yeah. Ah, this is hopeless. <laughs> oh dear. Encampment. No. 
Right. Yeah, well, fortune tellers are a pretty nasty attack, as I said. My crossroads have helped me a bit with that. Yeah, well, I was thinking I was going to have this dilemma between choosing between harems and golds, but I have had one one thing above six apart from when I got well I didn't even get a province so actually I think I just had one turn above six and I so miss forgotten about very early one um anyway so I'll set aside a duplicate I guess I get two cities and assume that your thing's not going to get actually massive but I will buy one estate just to put that little bit of extra so room. Six, 13 points. So I need two provinces. And to sit, well, you, to, to, to win in one go, you need something like No problem. <laughs> well, I don't think you're getting it in one turn. I'm not sure that I'm getting to the five. <laughs> Shame it doesn't duplicate the province. Well, if it did that, I would already be able to get um, a different strategy, perhaps. But yeah. So that is it. That's all I've got. Um, get a city. No, I'll get a duplicate, <laughs> and I'm going to call a duplicate. So there you go. I've almost caught you up now. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it wasn't that much, really. This is why I got that estate. Um, because this turn's not going to work for me. Oh, good. I'm pleased to hear that. I think I still get another estate from the crossroads. So what do I need now? A province? A province, a duchy, duchy. and a city. Or potentially two harems. I don't know how many silvers you got, actually. I don't think you have many. Yeah, you can't have enough of feed. Didn't, didn't I start as well? So I need more. Yeah, I started as well. Anyway, that's, if we're even anywhere close to that. Right. I need to draw a gold to keep that, but that's still not. Well, too keeping much. that's not too vital, is it, at this stage? Yeah, that's, that's only. eight um all right well i have to buy that oh do i have a you i can't no i would see that wouldn't i on my mat yeah you haven't got a duplicate yeah you can hover over your name i need you to dud again which i suppose is not going to happen well it's quite close because i know my next card's a miss and i only have two cards to draw a coin with um no, I have drawn it, so fine. I will yeah. set aside the curse, not that it's necessary. But yeah. Well, one by might as well get me a state, <laughs> just in case I didn't miscount for some reason. Uh, yeah, good game. Good game. Right, okay. <clears throat> they are good, but I misused them this time, I think. These encounters. Yeah, well, there wasn't a buy. And you were doing it when there was no chance of returning them in order to try and get one. But um, Fortune Teller was strong. I think it's Crossroads was the problem, uh, being stronger than uh, an encampment early on in this deck. Yeah. All right. And obviously, you do get to your goals first. So you're. But Fortune Teller is deceptively nasty. Because you don't I get to see not, your cards. Not the fortune teller. That was not. The fortune teller was fine. I just think you got the duplicate a little early. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Okay. So, tomb now. That's about trashing. Can we trash? We trash with forge. Um, we trash with Booker as well. Um, and this fountain is this annoying one about the coppers. 15 victory points if you have 10 coppers. Um, and then where are the sheeps? What's that plus two? Just plus two. Yeah. Fortunately, curse gold doesn't count as a gold. <laughs> um, Say again. Unfortunately, curse gold doesn't count as a gold. No, not for the point of view of encampments. So I think a seven's nice. 
but um a seven coin oh, let's see Oh, it's Forge, actually. No, I was thinking it was in... No, no, actually, seven's not Forge is one, any number yeah, of... Yeah, no, 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 I was thinking it was the other seven one. Um, it's not... I forget what it's called, but it improves the card by three. No, it's not that one. Um, I gave right. my pictures first a lot as well, so it's got... I'll show you the Forge. There you go. It's a, a woman... I think it's a... Uh, it's a woman supposedly <laughs> forging a sword, but there's not actually a Forge in sight in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay. they're just trying to show equal opportunities for blacksmiths. <laughs> yes. Um, I'll take a silver. Mm, I'm not too hot with this cursed gold stuff. No. I guess I get border guard. If you trashed four cards in your forge, would you get four points from tomb? Yes. Yeah, so it works like that. Um, oh. oh, and of course there's platinums. <laughs> there's platinum. Yeah. Yes, there are. Which makes perhaps the gold not quite such a... I'm going to get the snowy village. Yeah, well, the buy, as I said, it's always a good idea to get one early. But yeah, I was following your advice there. So you haven't played your Curse Gold? Oh, you have played Curse Gold either. Right. Um, I thought if I, I'll get the buy first, so then it might be worth it in future. For, I think, the Border Guard. Well, I'm going to sheep my border guard to get a snowy village. Oh, I could sheep my snowy village. Yeah, why not? Um, three, four, five, three. I thought it was a good idea, presumably. I Well, I don't know how good an idea it is. It's not bad. <laughs> because obviously you get the points from tomb uh the fountain thing makes it not quite so desirable because whilst you have the bay uh, oh, the snowy yeah. village has limited action so it's difficult to have lots of snowy villages with a drawing deck um yeah. perhaps manage two of them i mean obviously theoretically you can get more but you can perhaps manage two of turns it's like three by max let's try that oh that didn't work anymore. and the other problem is that there's platinums in the game so things like forge less likely well i don't know perhaps you can get to nines i haven't used i'm not must there's quite a lot of cards in this one which would not make me particularly favorite against an expert it's person who has experience with them there are two or three combinations which aren't my absolute we're actually going to get another snowy village yeah we can always sheep yeah so i have a six i'm going to get gold seems fairly clear cut to keep my options open. So yeah, I mean, both of us are basically not using our curse, <laughs> curse gold, which as I say, I don't know whether it's right or wrong, but if you're doing the same, <laughs> it I'll get away with it. Right. All right, I'm getting this forge now. Um, whoops, I should have sheep the snow village, never mind. Um, I am going to use this curse gold to get platinum. I think platinum's worth a curse. Oh, yeah, do this cursey thing as well. I'm going to get a puka and a border pass. Well, I want a second snowy village, I think. Well, maybe I want a second. Yeah, 
But actually, I want a second border guard, but I don't think it's worth getting a border guard is what's happening here. So I'm wanting another buy is what I, conclusion I came to. Right. Let's do that. Uh, oh, there's no fours in the deck. I'm joking. There's literally no fours. Uh, is there an improved thing? Oh, it's the forge. Okay, yeah. All right. Well, well, you can trash them all. <laughs> Trash the wall. I said trash them all. All the cards. So if you get to a four, it will trash everything. Oh, if I just oh if I get to four, I just trash and I don't get anything. Yeah. That's how it works. Well I might as well just do that then. Alright, that's fine. I could do oh, two states. Sorry? Um, sorry, I was saying, oh, I was what you trashed. I was thinking perhaps it's a cursed gold and cop three copies, yeah. but no. See, I've got an encampment and the cursed gold here, so I can get to five, eight, or risk my encampment. Um, I guess I may risk the encampment because I may draw a snow village. Um, so that didn't really work. So I'll get a forge. Oh, you got the forge now. Yeah. Well, I now know that I definitely had a snowy village coming up. <laughs> well, if I'm not playing my cursed gold, and you're not really playing the cursed gold, um, I have to get rid of the card somehow. And with tomb. Right. Um, so. I, oh, it's only one action I have. Let's do that. Um, and I'll do that. And then I'll forge. That's interesting. It tells me you're playing, doing away with the sheep, but it doesn't actually update the graphics for my side, <laughs> but it does from yours. Yeah, so you're going all out for these border guards. I guess a platinum. Oh. I I should compete a bit for the border guard, but I'm not sure. I'll stick with encampment because it's the well, card. I have my deck, as you know. I'm sure you have noticed. What, the money? I don't think you're out of money yet. I don't have any money, actually. You don't have enough money, I think, but your yeah. border guards is going to start giving you quite strong actions. Yeah, but it doesn't give me any money. Okay, let's take that. Um, I don't know. Let's take that. Let's take that. Puka. So I can trash a coin. Yep. A lot of cards. Um, She's got three coppers and a cursed gold, so I guess you're buying gold. Yeah, I can kind of forge them into a gold, I suppose. I, oh, I thought you're just buying. I thought you're just buying a gold. <laughs> Oh, I see. Gold. That's true. I could do that. I'm not trying to force you to do it. It's just you. No, no, I'm, <laughs> just trying to I'm trying to keep count of what you had. <laughs> um, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So, two. Four. Um, oh, six. Yeah, right. 
No, you have more than I thought. I forgot about the sheeping. Thanks. So I'm going to go uh, or I could even three, that would make it 13. I could get two golds and then forge the things in the future. All right, that'll do. Yes, is it forged and temporarily into a forge? Gold. Eight. Um. All right. Let's do this. Now I'm going to have too many. I can forge them, hopefully. Yeah, well, you trashed down quite a bit, and I've taken an indecisive route. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't wanting to get a seven with that last forge, but I had to really trash something down just to stop you three piling if I was trying to go too slow. Right. I do want to forge this... Uh... Right, three, four. I wish my maths was better. <laughs> yes, reminding the viewers that Clomac Attack has a maths I do <laughs> have degree a from a top yeah, university. A maths degree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want to forge the gold. Um. Oh, I suppose I have to do this. Forge into the forge. That's what you did. Yeah, although a second forge is potentially more value to me temporarily than you, but I suppose yours can um, just be reforged into platinum fairly quickly if you've got something yeah. to. Yes, that was sort of but you lose a border guard, border guard to do it, but um, I guess that would be the choice, isn't it? Yeah. Platinum in hand won't surprise anyone. Did I play the snowy village to guarantee a platinum or do I guess a risk drawing? Okay, it didn't really help much. So I could have sheeped it. Right. Border cards. Oh, I'm trying to forge the forge, so I've got to put the other forge in my hand. Um Snowy Village, Border Guard. Um, I just want to not run out of um, actions in the meantime. Snowy Village, Encampment. Uh, so, may play actions. So, I'm going to forge the I've got to remember to forge the border guard, otherwise it would be wrong. Platinum. And six. One. 
two, three. There you go, I'm all in two cards at the moment. I'll get a plunder. Have you got a plunder already? All right. Yeah, well, I've kind of given up on my snow village timing hasn't quite been that convenient and obviously haven't got two forges but <laughs> I've not that keen on them to begin with. Because yeah, I mean you can see from VP you trash 14 cards. Yeah, I trash I, six. That was my, my plan was to go quite heavy on the trashing. Oh yeah, yeah. Well I, I actually suspected that Puka and Forge were slightly overkill to begin with, but um the border guards, which of course you did win. I think pretty much, did you win all of them? Well, you certainly had dominance over me with the border guard. Um, and it's coming good for you again. But as I said, there are quite a few combinations on here which wasn't favoring me. Uh, Uh, see village. Now I'm gonna, as you say, forge this puka. Gain a groundskeeper. Fourteen. Okay, ominous for me. Uh, right. Two. Or, oh, I want one more. Uh, point. I suppose I just get a water guard or another snowy village. Snowy villages are pretty good um, for the buy. Yeah, as I said, but it's quite difficult to get three of them working. Um. Well, somehow I was getting loads of extractions last time. I don't actually even know. Oh, the encampments, I suppose. This is not an ideal situation. I guess I have to get rid of my encampment and a snowy village in order to achieve this rather than risk drawing. Oh my gosh, those plunders have all gone. But I don't think I have sufficient draw for really doing that. That was probably a mistake. Do you want that? Sounds like you got some foxes. I was wondering if you could hear that. Yeah, it does sound like that. Yeah, yeah we do. We often have foxes. Yeah, well, I used to have two little fox cubs come look at me while I was watching TV. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, this isn't looking very promising for me, although I'm still not out of it. <laughs> yeah. The grounds keep, I mean. Um, so, groundskeepers, I mean, I'll try and get another one of those. Uh, so, um, maybe I should just get another. Um, oh, I think I'll get a groundskeeper and a border guard. Yeah. This encampment before Snow Village. Uh, I guess it's. Well, I don't know if there's any point really taking the horn. I perhaps should have taken the other one. Seven, eight. Sorry, that's. 
think I need to keep my plunder. What do I? It's just inconvenient mat. Are you going to do some adding up? I'll help you with that. No, no, I can do the adding up. I have I have a plunder of gold, a platinum estate, and a curse. Um, I'm just trying to work out what I actually want. If you hadn't taken the last border guard, I would have just done the curse and the estate. Um, but I really want another buy. I prefer not to be giving up the plunder as a thing because I can get some combinations with that. I guess I just go for an estate to begin with. Get another platinum. He's a lot of Yeah, but my snow villages, which haven't been working for me, I now only have one because of this forge um, defensive situation I kind of made. I've given up on the fountain, even though you've given up on it. So, yeah, I, I certainly gave up on the fountain long ago. <laughs> No, but it's these border guards. <laughs> it's a game where I actually let you run away with it. Well, you know me, I do like these border guards. Oh, I know you like them. As I said, if you ask for my rating of my chance to begin with, with the Cursed Gold games, I'm never very sure anyway. Fountain and Tomb, <laughs> I'm okay ish, but. Um... Um, I mean, I could forge my colony into a colony just to gain one victory point. Maybe it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, your only real danger is that the game lasts so long that my plunders <laughs> out VP you. Um, but I don't think it's very likely with the current buy situation because you're yeah. managing to get all your snow villages in play. Um, 11... Um, and two, because I can always trash this again. Oh, I think well, actually, no, it's a lot more than one VP from that because you had groundskeepers in play when you trash yeah. a uh, colony to get colony. Just oh, in that's... case someone didn't pick up on that. Actually, worth a VP more. <laughs> yeah, no, this is hopeless to catch up. Really, I need my snow village to actually come in a better hand, which it's just not doing. I'm not going to be able to forge a second snow village. So, Oh. You think now that I trash thirteen cards, I'd be getting close to having a better deck. Ignore the fact that I'm <laughs> wouldn't necessarily be catching up, but yeah. Um. It's actually really important to get the uh, plungers, no, the um, thing in these encampments. Um, I don't know. Well, you get three snow villages, three ground sweep. It doesn't really matter. You could, um, you're a long way ahead. Two. Uh, well, you can effectively attack the piles, which you're not doing. But anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it half, half, half doing it. Okay, well, it's not pretty. So I need a second snow village. So now I could realistically try and win this go. If I can get 
questo. Actually, my hand has got worse, of course. Yeah, well, there is a possibility of missing quite a bit with the border guard top deck because you need your encampment to have a gold. Um, yeah. Well, I suppose you could draw it, blind draw it, but I mean, there's um. Yeah, but the border guards can help me find the, the thing, the gold. I mean, I'm still expecting to hit something. You're not going to totally mess with your hand. No, 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 no. And I think you're going to hit your nine coins quite comfortably. Yeah, I should be. In fact, I can probably guarantee it. There's your maths degree coming good again. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. Right. Okay, that saves me from having to play it out with your, your, your <laughs> groundskeepers. <laughs> Points to make up. Colony. The colony. It's no good. Yeah, all right, whatever. Uh, so snow, for for snow, village, for snow village as well, so even if you talk by it, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Very good game. Good game. I didn't have to worry about the fountain because I never have enough coffers in the fountain. No, well, we're colonies, so 15 points isn't as significant. Yeah. All right. So, what did you uh, think of the encampments and the plunders? Well, the encampments are very nice. Plunders are obviously very nice because it's kind of. Well, it's a laboratory plus an action if you've got a deck with enough plunders or whatever in them. You need to be a little bit careful not to have too many other cards. Um, that last one, it was the forge problem. Well, all kinds of things went wrong for me. It wasn't very attractive to go towards it. You got lots of golds and buys and things. Um, mm. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's a nice, it's, it is a nice two card, but it's not the only nice two card. The problem tends to be to try and control getting the plunders. I mean, I managed to get, even on that one where you had so much control, I did manage to get three plunders to your two plunders. And it mm. wasn't game losing to do so. My problem was already. Yeah. Um, yeah. Your, your, your forge so had gone a lot forge, smoother. It, that game. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, my, uh, yeah, I think it was my buy, which I got early, weren't quite working for me anyway. So whilst you kind of, for all these border guards, eventually came good, it takes a while for them to come good to get both the horn and the lantern. Um, mm. And my problem was, yeah, but I just didn't have the buy when I won did it early on which could have changed things a bit but the curse gold i just <laughs> so unsure what to do with the curse gold because it seems when i use it to slow the game down more so my hand takes longer to win <laughs> than if i didn't have it at all but obviously it takes longer if you don't use it as well so i don't actually think the curse gold is better than the copper necessarily from the initial starting perspective um yeah i mean one approach is just to try and trash the thing well, because this is the other thing I was trying to do, but it's Forge. It's the mass of Forge. Game yeah. it's, it's the mass of Forge. I mean, obviously, Tombs being there made the Forge more attractive. But when I ended up getting the second Forge, I needed to Forge out Forge to be anywhere close. And that didn't seem to be seem to be happening even at the end. I think if it a few more turns, my deck would have slowly started to match yours. But obviously, it's, yeah. <laughs> matching's no good. But... Um, yeah, so I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, the encampments is good. I mean, you can see it's still working along with your border guards. Um, I think the encampments were quite powerful for your deck for that last one as well. I so needed I them there, the key otherwise, Yeah, because otherwise, because that the village, that, that, that meant I had enough actions to do what I wanted to do and to draw the cards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the village, yeah, the village is, Snow Village is very strong, but it is difficult to chain them sometimes. Um, it's not the most convenient buy if you're trying to get lots of them because you often yeah. end up killing your actions, but it wasn't really a drawing deck. I mean, the board of guard is close to drawing, but it's a competition a bit. Mm. I brilliant. Mean, it's great. Yeah. I said, brilliant. Okay. And then I was going to look ahead to tomorrow, but I do have to actually look it up what it is. Um, it is the crown. Tomorrow is the crown, which... Um, is a treasure for five, which, if from memory, lets it, you um, play an action or play a treasure twice. Yeah, you can choose whether to throw it as an action card or as a treasure, yeah.
a big, strong, quite a nice card. Yes. The only real problem is if in a match situation, some of the interface is technically tricky. It sometimes makes you play it as an action when you didn't want to play it as an action and tried to coin it. Um, you're uh, right. You have to click. You have to remember to click. So, and so, so you need to click it in the right order. Yeah. And sometimes yeah, yeah, it yeah. auto does it for you anyway. So you can only click end actions and you click end buys. But other than that, it's a nice card. Mm. But yeah, okay. Right. All righty. Thanks everybody for watching.